Hello out there tubers, Riveter coming at you this today and uh, this can be a little bit different than the last several videos I've uploaded. Um, you know I've been doing focusing more on magic but there's been a, a, a situation that has popped up over the last week or so and I've been kind of working on getting my thoughts and feelings together on how I feel about this and, and, and uh, so anyway rather than just ramble on I, I kind of wrote a script out and I'm going to do that because this is something that uh, honestly um, really kind of bothered me and so I wanted to make sure that I got um, I got it down right So thank you for listening to this, and uh, anyway, I'll just get started. Letters of the alphabet put together form words. Those words used to have meaning, and sadly, they no longer do. We as a species have failed. Why? Because we have taken words and we've cheapened them to the point to where we can say certain words like adulterer, pedophile, slut, bitch and they have no effect and in some cases a warrant is a badge of honor today I want to focus on a particular word pedophile or pedo as killer keemstar likes to say in the past year he's accused no less than four people of being pedophiles and while in some of those cases there have been some very damning evidence and then in only one particular case was there actually an individual who had been charged with an actual crime and and in that case my opinion uh, is that it was an overzealous prosecutor and the parents that were too protective the most recent accusation was against a youtuber named Zoe Berger Keemstar tweeted out uh, calling her a pedo and in all fairness the tweet was sh showing a double standard that existed between what women can get away with and what men are actually charged with. And so on that, I agree with his, his original initial you know, presentation of this subject. But Miss Berger, rather than trying to deflect or defend, turned it into an accusation, or turned this accusation into a work between herself and Keemstar. And this was all covered and all, you know, and came clean uh, on the very, on the last podcast that uh, baited podcast ever put out and they did it for the sole purpose herself Miss Berger and Keemstar to garner them both views on YouTube and subscribers in the hopes of keeping the pursuit of internet fame alive for just a little bit longer Colossal is crazy and co-host Tommy C of the Beta Podcast along with Keemstar um, when Miss Berger came onto the podcast um, Tommy and he talked Tommy C's talked about this he was relieved when he found out it was a, a work because he had issues with it um, Clown was not relieved you know Clown took exception to it um and if you listen to the podcast, which I, I strongly suggest that you do, and I will have a link in the in, in below in the uh, description to that podcast. So if you haven't done so, please please do go listen to it. Um, you know, in listening to the podcast, it became very painfully clear that Keemstar and Miss Berger are cut from the same boat of cloth, and they would sell their mothers for that ever elusive fame. Now I tip my hat to Colossal for remaining steadfast. And sticking to his morals. I honestly do not agree with every stance that Colossal takes. However, I admire him far more than Keemstar, who, from what I have seen, not only on Twitter and YouTube, would sell his who has sold his soul a long time ago. Now Keemstar could just be a character that he plays. And he could, and Daniel Keem could actually have a heart. And while I would hope that that is a possibility somewhat true. I actually think it's more of a situation of a boy crying wolf. He says he cares about the people liking his content. 
and he cares about his subscription his subscriber count I think it's more of a deal where he it's more of a again pursuit of the money fame or more more appropriately infamy because they're not the same Daniel being famous and popular and being infamous are two different things Now, when Keemstar came under fire from Leaf in grade A, I defended him. I felt what those two young men did were wrong. And it has, you know, subsequently come out that what they did was all because of a business transaction. Uh, they wanted to distance themselves from Keem. And that was, their, that was their choice. They could do that. You know, friends fall out. I've lost friends over the years. There's nothing wrong with that. But it's how you handle it, how you do it. And what they did was wrong. Now, I've enjoyed the bot, the baited podcast, and, and sadly, the baited podcast is gone now. And I felt that Keem was, was, was offset by Clown, and Tommy was always uh, in there with a quick barb here and there, whatever. and I enjoyed that the dynamic of those three young men. And I'm sad, and I am. I'm pretty sad that it's gone. Uh, I am happy to hear that Tommy C. and, and Clown and, and Dead on Dave are going to uh, start up another podcast, and I have every intentions of listening to it and subscribing and supporting them. I don't know about Baited, though. You know, Keem has listed uh, his potential uh, co-hosts, and I just... I just don't think it's going to have the same dynamic. I wish them luck. I will give their first few episodes a, a listen to, maybe, to kind of see where it stands. But I, if I have to be honest with you, I really don't think I'll, I will be a subscriber and will follow that podcast. But that's just me. Um, anyway, with all this being said... Um, I just want to to say that we as a society have got to get back to making words count again. We have to quit cheapening them. Anyway, thank you as always for, for watching my videos, uh, subscribing to the channel, and um, I wish every, all of you the best and a blessed life. And that's Riveter out of here.